Political correctness is nothing more than a lack of self-esteem. Because you want people to like you. There's probably not a man, woman, or child in this audience that if he had his druthers, you would rather be liked than disliked. For those of you that are familiar with Mr. Bezos of Amazon fame, and for those of you that know anything about his history, his culture, his character, you know building one of the greatest companies that ever was and ever will be, he doesn't give a fuck what you think of him. If you know anything about Mr. Gates, if you knew anything about the late Steve Jobs, if you knew anything about Henry Ford, and I can go on and on and on, they all had one characteristic. They didn't care what you thought of them. The system is stacked against you if you care what other people think. Now let's just think about this. You were told, growing up, if you came from a regular household, get good grades, stay out of trouble, go to a decent school, get a decent job, work 25, 30, 35, 40 years, retire, should have enough money, maybe buy a house in Tenerife or wherever the place was, right? That's what the fuck you were told. That was a lie. You were also told probably that you can be anything you want in life. That was even a bigger lie. If you went to Eton, if you went to Cambridge, if you went to Oxford, if you went to one of those kind of schools, then it wasn't a lie. Why do parents, well, when I ask these questions, I don't expect answers. Why do your parents tell you that shite? because their parents told them the same shite. Now for at least 20 to maybe 40 years, it hasn't been true. Why did, why did they and their parents perpetuate it? To make you feel good? Maybe. They tell you that because they don't want to disillusion you. They think just as you think have thought, have been taught, reading books is taking action. Reading books is not taking action. Taking action is pulling the trigger. What are we doing today, notwithstanding Mr. Musk, Elon's a great guy, very bright, a great entrepreneur of extraordinary abilities, who surrounded himself with extraordinary people, who says he's gonna die on the way to Mars. Why does he wanna go to Mars? Ask yourself, kids, eagles fly alone. Eagles don't go to the pubs. Eagles don't go to the World Cup. Eagles don't go to the World Series. They fly alone. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future, young man. When value is clear, decisions are easy, as Roy Disney told me about 48 years ago. When value is clear, decisions are easy. Now, have you ever seen a three-year-old unhappy? Unless they've soiled their the nappies, they're all happy, aren't they? Giggle, giggle, yeah, 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 right? Has anybody tell me? Uh, three years old, okay, now. Seven years old, same thing. They're all happy. Then what happens? By the way, self-esteem is built the first seven years of life. You either have it or you don't. Self-esteem is the basis of all high performance. You either feel good about yourself, nobody loves me more than I love myself. You can't be a good human being unless you love yourself. Love yourself first, then you love everybody else. I, I can just tell by the, looking at the audience, we have a lot of save the world kids. Great, absolutely fucking terrific. But Bill Gates didn't start saving the world till he made 850 billion dollars. None of those guys, Warren Buffett, you name them, didn't give a shit about the world until they made 852 billion dollars. So I tell the kids, go out and make the 852 billion dollars, then save the fucking world. You hang around with cripples, you learn how to limp.